Thank you for stopping in. Uh, today's transmission is from a viewer, a viewer's ask question. Uh, in this case, there were eight questions that the person asked. And um, it's about a number of things. It's about Nasara Jasara, quantum financial system, the RV, the US dollar, uh, the USN, Federal Reserve, Rome, gold and silver, the corruption and transparency. So I'm going to probably do two or three uh, in this, this uh, video, I'm going to do two or three of the questions. And then um, I'll follow them up with a couple of other videos. Um, a lot of people are asking about the same questions, you know, a lot of you have questions about the same topics. So if we do it in in um, in smaller sections, which you know I kind of want to keep the videos down to uh, under five minutes, I guess. But um, what I want you to know is I'm going to do two or three in and then you can kind of focus today on this, focus tomorrow on the next, and then put it all together as a big picture. Okay, so the first question is about uh, comment on Nasera uh, Jasera. Now, that wasn't necessarily a question, but the guide start, uh, Universal Energy came in and this is what they said. This is the transmission I received. It was Nasara Jasera. All countries are to be sovereign unto themselves. Their peoples must be sovereign individuals. Each country must not be embroiled in conflict. And I said, who's responsible to enforce this? And then uh, Universal Energy said, the people of the country are. They have relinquished their control to the government. They, the people, must be clearly heard and again, peacefully take back the responsibility. That was in Sarah Gisera. So then the next topic was the QFS system or the QFS quantum financial system. And the transmission I received uh, is the quantum financial system is in place and has been running horizontal to your current system in all areas. This is a blockchain as aspect to the quantum system. Minimal human Minimal humans of rightness are maintaining. Universal forces oversee. There are stop gaps when blockchain is violated. Okay. The testing period is complete and verified by the benevolence of the universal forces. Implementation awaits the action of the people in taking back their responsibilities. And uh, then the next question is, RV is revaluation of currencies. And then the transmission I received is this. It has to do with the RV and US dollar is no longer, okay. All currencies are in the process of revaluing to the current, to the country's assets. The U.S. dollar is currently being used by the everyday person. However, it has no value to attach it to. It has a usability for a day-to-day, -day, for day-to-day -day transactions that have been uh, that and that has been voluntary. And then the next question actually follows through. So. Um, the next question is about the USN. Uh, the transmission I received about that is, at the point that the people take back res their responsibility, the United States note is scheduled to go into release to replace the dollar. The USN is based, is valued and directly linked to not only gold and silver, but also the assets of the United States as to it had as it was originally founded. 
as it was originally formed without incorporation. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there. It was, so we went through the Sarah Gisera quantum financial system, RV, revaluing currencies, the US dollar and the USN. Um, the, the next uh, video should be uh, Federal Reserve, Rome, gold and silver, corruption, transparency. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there with this. Take time to think about this. I mean, I'm, they've been very, Universal Energy has been very consistent on the message that I'm getting about these topics. And, um, you know, we'll keep doing them, but the, um, this was really, it was kind of more concise, more than usual. It wasn't, didn't tell a story and then a message. But um, anyway, that's that for now. I'll be back with another one. Um, it'll be number two of the series. Um, hopefully in a couple of days. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, would like to contact me, call, uh, contact the unlikely Chandler at gmail.com. And in the meantime, stay tuned because there's a lot more to come.